early signs of showing that transit's going to be decentralised in the future. What we want to be able to do is enable um, private providers to actually share their information in an easier way um, so we can actually build new applications on top of it and that's really what we're using uh, Apogee for is to create a, essentially a marketplace of, of, of different transport feeds. So what we're starting to do really is building a digital transport agency um, and using GCP, Apogee and other tools like TensorFlow to allow us to do that. We used Apogee for a couple of reasons really. The main one that it's easy to use. There's lots of capability in our development communities in New Zealand who understand it and are very competent in it. And also the cost associated with it and the ease, the ease and the speed that it takes us to deploy that particular platform is far superior than everybody else's. Products like Apogee and GCP, it's actually helped make us more attractive to the development community. And any type of product is you're only as good as the developers that you can attract and retain. So when you can actually know that they're going to be working with modern, scalable tools that are easy to use and help them to continually improve their knowledge base and competency, it becomes a much more attractive value proposition to come and work in government. Whereas previously, you'd be probably using a, uh, an on-premises type environment which has been there for 20 years, you know, the guy has to reboot it a couple of days a week. You're not going to attract the right type of people that we need to really um, transform transit, which is going through a major change at the moment. We're using GCP for Firebase, for Kubernetes, to really deliver some applications for us at the moment in Auckland and in Queenstown. So we have an application called RideMate, and which is an Auckland-based mobility application, which has to be very scalable. We currently have about four and a half thousand um, connected devices uh, moving around the marketplace. They could be taxis, buses, trains. What that allows our customers to do is see where all their transport options are in one place across all modes and the ability to pay for them. So Firebase is really important for that uh, because we want to make sure it's scalable in the future as it continues to grow. Um, and also um, Kubernetes is also very important for that. So we can actually um, do a much more continuous integration of our products uh, and actually have a high, a high quality development team within the organisation to sustain those platforms uh, for our customers. In government it's a fantastic place to be because you never actually have to generate a profit. All you've got to do is make a difference to your customers and if I go and build a great product it's my loved ones and your loved ones that are actually going to benefit from it and that's the real, the why for me.